Hey guys, this is Lisha Nibblish Angel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute and comfy pajama set. I'll be using this adorable knit fabric that I got from Duran's. It was super stretchy and this was the first time I actually saw cute Christmas knit fabric at Duran's. I always like to cut my straps out first so I know that I need two short straps for the top. So I'm just cutting one really long strap um, that I will later cut down and I'm just making it an inch wide. For the bottoms, I'm just making them kind of like biker short style, so I'm just taking a pair of biker shorts that I got that fit me well, and I'm just tracing out um, the pattern with the washable marker right onto the fabric. So here I have the front side up, and I'm tracing the front side onto the pants. So on the bottom there, I'm adding seam allowance, and then I'm just kind of going to feel through this part of the pants and kind of feel where that seam is and make marks and I'm also going to add seam allowance and waistband allowance at the top and since this doesn't have a side seam I'm just going to make I just need two pieces so I'm just going to flip it the short so I can trace the back part um, so I'm just lining that up where I left off on the front and then the back part is now facing up and I'm going to trace the back onto my fabric. And again, I'm adding on any seam allowance or extra fabric needed for like the hems and the waistband. Um, the part in the back where like it goes to like the crotch seam, that part's usually kind of tucked in the back for um shorts and for pants. So that one usually sticks out a bit more than the front pattern piece. So just make note of that because your shorts will likely be the same and then again I just feel through the seam and trace that like middle seam of the shorts. So I always get a measuring tape and measure this part of the shorts um, because they should be the same so here I'm just making sure that I measured that and traced that out correctly and adjusting it if they weren't the same measurement. This fabric is ridiculously stretchy, so I'm not super, super picky, like, trying to get it exactly precise as long as that part matches up. I know that even if the sizing is off, it'll be okay because this fabric is so stretchy, which I love. So once that's all good, I'm just going to cut out that piece and then flip it. Make sure you flip it. That way you have a right and a left side. Um, and then I'm going to cut out my second piece. For the shorts. If you guys ever see the jalapeno and cheddar cheeses in the store, do yourself a favor and buy them. Best cheeses ever. No, it's not sponsored. Anyways, for the top triangle piece, I'm just using one of my bikini patterns, which you can find in pretty much any of my bikini tutorials. And then I decided to add a little extra dough because I don't want it to be super small. Like I'm gonna be sleeping in it, and you know I don't want nothing to pop out, so I do want some coverage. So I just kind of added about a half an inch around the edges or so. Maybe about a fourth, a fourth to half an inch. I used that piece as my pattern piece. So I then put um, cut out four in total of the triangles. So here are my four triangle pieces. So the bottom part of the top, like the rectangle that goes underneath the triangles, I want it to be about four and a half inches wide so I'm going to cut the triangle about 10 inches that way I have about um I have inch for seam allowance and it's going to be folded in half so it will end up being about four and a half inches and then I measured around my waist to figure out how long I need to make the rectangle so now I have all my pieces for the top four triangles a strip and then one long rectangle so I feel like my triangles were kind of long, so out here I'm just kind of trimming down the top of the triangles so they're a little, they look a little shorter and chubbier now instead of super long. Now to get the top cut parts to fit more snug, I'm going to put darts on all of the triangles. <laughs> so I do this by folding the triangle evenly in half and then I'm making a mark two inches up and then a half an inch from the inside fold and I'm just connecting that uh, with the line and then just pinning that so I'm going to do 
that for all four triangles and then go over the top of that line with a straight stitch. Now that they look nice and even, I'm going to sew them down. And since I am using a straight stitch, I'm going to back stitch in the beginning and at the end. And now I'm going to open them up and then figure out which sides I want to be the side that is showing. So I'm picking like the cutest ones. And then I'm going to pin my uh, triangles together. And I'm putting the pins on the side that I want to be the back, if that makes sense. So now I'm just going to sew that with my serger, but a serger is not required. You can definitely still sew this on a regular sewing machine with a stretch stitch. So either a zigzag or hem stitch. I am adding this clear elastic to it. It is completely optional, but I do like to add elastic with um any of my super stretchy fabrics. I love this elastic. I use it for pretty much any stretchy fabric project that I sew. I just feel like it helps the fabric to not be overstretched. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just sewing the two sides of both of the triangles. So here I'm just sewing the strap for the top. And I'm just doing that by folding it in half and sewing it with my serger. And putting that clear elastic on top. And again, the elastic is optional and you do not need a serger. But yeah, I'm just folding that strap in half to sew it. So once I finish that, I'm going to turn the strap right side out with my strap turner. So I'm taking the long strap that I made and cutting it in half. And then I'm going to cut off the tips of the triangles just a tiny bit. You want it just big enough for that strap to fit through. You don't want it too wide, otherwise it's going to look boxy at the top. And then I'm taking my strap turner and pulling the strap through the top of the triangle. I like to match the side of the strap that has a seam with the side of the triangle that has the elastic. That way um, it's in the in the back of the triangle if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to sew it down a bunch of times with a straight stitch to make sure it's secure. I will usually go over it about five times and then you can just trim off that excess part of the strap and the little threads. To attach the triangle cups to the rest of the top, I'm going to have this side that I want up and then flip it over onto the rectangle. And then I'm going to tuck the straps and everything into the rectangle and fold over the other side um, and then just pin it down. I have the triangle cups about a half an inch apart. I feel like for most tops, they're usually about a half an inch to an inch um, apart from each other. So once I get the triangle cups pinned good onto the rectangle, I really make sure I get, I focus on like where the cups are. So I get the front and the back of the triangle and just make sure those are in place where I want. And then I'm going to pin along the rest of that long rectangle. Do you have the cups in the middle of the rectangle? So once everything is nice and pinned I'm going to serge over top of that and I am adding elastic again elastic and serger are optional but yeah I'm just gonna go down the whole rectangle making sure I sew through all the layers of the front of the back of the rectangle and through the cups once that's sewn I'm gonna turn it right side out I did accidentally have a little hole right there in the middle, so I did flip it back um, inside out and then sewed it again to fix that hole. I put the rectangle part around my waist and marked where to trim it so that it fit snug. This fabric is super stretchy, so even when it fit a little snug, I can still stretch it over my head. I don't need to add any ties or anything. I'm mad at myself that I forgot to record sewing this part, but pretty much what I did is I took one end and I tucked in the top completely um, in the straps and cups and everything. And then I lined up that end of the top um, with the other end and then I matched the seams and pinned around it um, and then sewed around that if that makes sense. And then once I sewed that together, I just made a little hole and turned it right side out. I hope that makes sense. 
here I'm just measuring where I want the straps to go in the back. You can just sew the straps like right onto the back, but I want it to be typical and make little openings in the seam that way I can tuck the strap in there and then sew it down. Now I'm going to try on the top and make a mark on the straps of how short I want them to be, which will be how tight they are. And then I'm going to crisscross them in the back like that for more support. So I made the mark here on the strap, so I'm cutting it there. And then I'm just measuring it up with the other strap so that I cut them evenly. Once they're cut, I'll just tuck them into the openings that I made in the back. And then sew it down with the straight stitch a couple times. Here I'm just securing the straps in place with the straight stitch. I put the top on as soon as I finished sewing it and I was so in love with it. It was so comfy and I kept it on the whole time while I finished sewing the shorts. <laughs> For the shorts, I'm going to start by putting the right sides together and then pinning along the two curves on the side. Then I'm going to sew just these two curves only. Next, I'm going to open up the shorts and then pin together the like crotch part and I always start by pinning together the seam in the middle first and then pinning like the edges and then going down the middle with them. So here I'm just sewing that part that I just pinned. So at first I was going to use 1.5 inch elastic but I accidentally messed up here. I was supposed to cut um above that line like an inch and a half above that line but instead I accidentally cut exactly at that line. So then I just ended up using half an inch elastic, but I ended up liking the way it turned out anyways. So here I just, I'm just kind of trimming off the top because um, I made that part a little too high. But I was only actually supposed to trim off like a half an inch, not that whole thing. So here um, I'm just going to fix it with the half an inch elastic if I had used the inch and a half now. It, my shorts would have been too short at the top, so I just... Attach the elastic to the top um, by starting it right on top of it and I pull it like very very slightly while I'm sewing it down and then I just folded it over and sewed it down with a zigzag stitch and then I decided that I want the shorts a little bit shorter so I tried them on and marked where I wanted to cut them so here I'm just trimming the bottom of the shorts and now I'm just hemming the bottom of the shorts by folding over the edge about a half an inch and sewing it down with a zigzag stitch. Every time I do a zigzag stitch, I always use the 3.1. I prefer this one a lot over the regular zigzag stitch because it's just more secure. And when I use the other one, my sewing machine will skip stitches sometimes. And here was the final result. It was so cute and so comfy. And by the way, I do live in South Florida, so it is always warm here. So I do prefer to sleep in shorts and a tank top. But yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, I'm definitely making another pair next year. And if you guys have any questions, just comment them down below. As always, thanks for watching.